Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Matthew Herford, who is the Managing Director for Australia and New Zealand at NetApp. The NetApp portfolio of leading data application and storage solutions helps organizations manage applications and data everywhere across hybrid multi-cloud environments. NetApp's 30 years of innovation have made them the proven leader in all flash storage. Matthew joins us today to tell us a little bit more about NetApp and what they're doing in the APAC region, but also their partnership with the Children's Cancer Institute. Thank you for coming along, Matthew, and welcome to the jam. Pleasure to be here, Tom. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Uh, well, let's just get straight into that last part of that. Can you briefly explain NetApp's partnership with the Children's Cancer Institute? Absolutely. So we've been working with them. Um, they've been a customer of NetApp's for about five years. Um, right. They started off buying a whole bunch of on-prem storage products, and then they've moved into the cloud. They have a requirement to, to share information um, with other hospitals and, and research agencies. So we've helped in a small way facilitate that. But I think the relationships become a lot further. We now uh, sponsor their CEO Data Cure event um, as a flagship sponsor. Um, you know, NetApp has culture and giving back and making sure we're part of the society that we that we work in. Um, and this is really just putting, you know, our money where our mouths are um, and getting as many people from the team involved. And it's gone so far as Mark Cowley, who's their director of research, actually was over in Las Vegas just last week on stage with uh, with our CEO talking about what they do because it, it's groundbreaking research. And when you talk about genomic mapping and personalized medicine, the things that they're really working on, it is incredibly reliant on data. Oh, of course, absolutely. Uh, well now, how are NetApp solutions helping the CCI find a cure for children's cancer faster? Yeah, look, I, in many ways, it's about not getting in the way yeah and what i mean by that is you know there's an awful lot of advanced research going on and our job is really to obfuscate what we do you know if we can get out of the way and enable these researchers to focus on more than want to get done and that means making the use of our data services incredibly simple incredibly seamless and if we can to your point about speed accelerating their research by not having any delays in the data processing piece and you know, Mark has actually said to me directly that, you know, what might have taken him days, if not weeks, to integrate disparate data sources together takes minutes with NetApp, and that just saves them enormous amounts of time. And to your point, Tom, they could get on with saving kids, right, and not having to manage data infrastructure. Yeah, uh, any, anything to facilitate it moving faster, of course. Uh, well, I guess sort of switching to more broader things on NetApp, for a business that hasn't worked with NetApp before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, we build intelligent data infrastructure. Uh, and by that, you know, organizations today want to get on with delivering customer outcomes. They want to use AI. They want to use the latest tool sets. They want to hire the people with the right level of skills. And they don't want that barrier of entry into managing data. And when people talk about digital economies and digital, you know, um, disruption, for me, that's all centered around moving from an analog-based system to digital-based systems. So what NetApp does and what ha we have done for 31 years is pioneer innovation in the data storage management space. We're allowing organizations to run the workloads where they want to actually work, run them. That may be on-prem, it may be in a cloud, it may they may move from Google Cloud to Azure to AWS. Our data services span all of those multi-clouds and we simplify it by having the same data security, the same API, the same integration points, um, to allow organizations to simplify that rather complex <laughs> multi-cloud environment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, now, what trends are your product development teams laser focused on next? Yeah, look, we're very focused on making sure we can capture um, block storage markets. So, so yeah. sounds a bit nerdy, sounds a bit techie. <laughs> um, but NetApp, I think, has been known as a NAS company. You know, if I ask customers, you know, what do you know about NetApp? They go, oh, you guys are amazing at, at file storage, at NAD storage, but we're also incredibly good at block storage. We've got 20,000 customers worldwide using us for sand-based workloads. So we're looking to make sure we can bring the same innovations, the same productivity, the same cost savings into those sand workloads. And we're also very focused on making sure we can help customers with their AI. Um, we're seeing huge growth in AI. It's the, the hot topic, but to do AI properly, one of the things you need is access to the right data and the quality of the data. So not only having the right storage and enable customers to perhaps test AI models on-prem, 
and then perhaps burst up into a public cloud environment to do other work or other testing or productionize that AI workload, but also making sure that data classification services are running across their data stacks. You know, how many copies of cat videos have you got in that information that may be blurring your results? Because back to that quality thing, the quality of the data in an AI model will lead to a better outcome. Yeah, exactly. I, I was going to ask you about AI, so you've got me there. Uh, well, I guess one last question to finish off. Uh, what infrastructure or resources does NetApp have in the APAC market? Yeah, look, in the ANZ market, I've got about 200 people in my team. We've also got a, a company we acquired in Canberra mm. called Instacluster. They do yeah. open source of the service. If those customers are trying to figure out how they run Kafka or Redis or want to move from Oracle to Postgres, that's what that team does. Um, and across APJ, I think we've probably got upwards of 700 people, 800 people across the region. We're headquartered in Singapore. Um, and, you know, we've got enormous engineering teams on top of that number out of Bangalore and other centers in India. We, we do a, a follow the sun support model. We've got engineering teams in the right place um, developing our products. So the presence in the APAC market for NetApp is incredibly important and probably closer to home. The ANZ business is known as an innovation center for NetApp. So we have a whole range of consumption based models, for example. That you know, I was actually involved with at NetApp 15 years ago. Um, they've now become the keystone product suite. So organizations have got a lot of flexibility in how they consume that multi-cloud role. They might have a CapEx budget, or they might want to con consume storage widgets, um, you know, by, uh, you know, by the hour. Um, and so all that product set came out of the Australian business, and we're still seeing a little bit as the canary in the coal mine. If things happen in Australia. A couple of years later, they're, they're likely to happen in the rest of the world. We're quite an advanced market. So, yeah, we're excited to be here. We're growing quickly. Um, we're really focused on that product set on-prem and making sure we can deliver the most innovative flash-based solutions and, of course, connecting that up into the public cloud. Yeah, it has been a, a marvellous journey that the ANZ region has had. Um, I guess also, if an enterprising user wanted to engage with NetApp, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, they can contact us directly, but we also were a partner organization. Right. Um, so, so we've got a broad set of partners with capabilities that extend what we do. Um, and you know, if you take the storage elements of what we do and we're experts in that domain, any of our partners can deliver end-to-end -end solutions for organizations, integrate NetApp into an outcome, which is what customers are looking for. Um, but yeah, NetApp Australia um, branches in Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, Adelaide, Perth, Brisbane, and Auckland. So we're never far away. Um, and our website, netapp.com, has all the contact details, all the product details, um, easy to get hold of. So, uh, well, it has been a pleasure having you on the jam, Matthew, and learning more about NetApp, and of course, your work with the Children's Cancer Institute. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from NetApp very soon. Great, Tom. <laughs> Wonderful speaking to you. Thank you. Yeah.